and welcome to this tutorial. This is the twelfth installment on our PHP forum tutorial. I know it's been a long time since I've posted a tutorial about uh, the forum here, and uh, I've become to realization that you guys need this, so I'm going to continue making these tutorials, um, and hopefully we can get this finished within a month or two, and uh, that way I won't look like the slacker you think I am. In our last tutorial, we went ahead and we actually just um, added our replies, and we did nothing else with them. With our replies, now we're going to use pagination to show how they're, um, to see how they're uh, outputted, and uh, that's where we're going to get started for now. So uh, let's see, let's go ahead and open this up. The file was, uh, I believe, we have to go to topic here. This will show our topics. Uh, let's see here, let's just make sure we're looking at the right file. Main chat. Replies. One. As you can see, the replies here updated. Okay. And, um, let's just make a, another test. Hello? Oops. Hello, one, two, three, four. Okay. And now that we have nothing to do with that yet, we'll go back to our main chat. You see, there's one reply there. And, uh, if we go ahead and add a reply to this one, monkeys, one, two, three, and go to back here. What we have to do is we have to change this so the test will go straight to the top when we add a reply to it. So when we go to our forum topics uh, table in our database, we're going to look at time there. Time is what we're going to be sorting it by. And uh, time there, alright. And our replies is what it's going to help us edit it with. So, let's go back to our reply.php file. And, uh, let's see. Right after this here, we're going to add another SQL query. So let's do update forum underscore topics. Set time equal to our current time. So we're just going to use a Unix timestamp like that. And then where ID. And what we have here, we have TID up here, which is our topic ID. So we're just going to set that where ID equals TID. Alright, and let's execute the query using our MySQL query function. And remember to use or die MySQL error each time you're going for one of these functions. Alright, let's save that. When we go back to topic here, uh, right, we're looking at the wrong file, so we need to look at... Where'd I go? File browser. That's it. Includes, uh, I believe it would be forum, right? Okay, forum subcats, right? And where the topics are here, order by time, right? So now, if we refresh this page, test should be at the top when we make when we make our next reply. Let's go testing time here as our next reply. Then we go back to our forum index and go here. Test is now at the top with three replies. Okay. And I just want to make one minor adjustment here for it says date there. I want to put um, date created. Just so it makes more sense to the user. Okay. Uh, let's see. What's next? Well, now we have to show the replies. So, I'm going to open up my pagination file test that I made a uh, a couple months ago. It's called pagetest.php. Here it is. Now what we need to do here, when we're looking at topic.php, we need to set some uh, new variables here. So let's go back to here and just see what we need. Simple as this, page equals, underneath that. Alright. And now, where we have this here, we're just going to make sure we uh, raise it to the ceiling of the page. So, a ceiling basically, if the number is 1.5, it'll raise it to 2. If we use floor and it's 1.5, it's going to go down to 1. So let's just continue adding these. 
limit equals two. The limit is how much we're going to limit per page for reply. So um, let's just go ahead and add that, and we'll change it to ten. Okay. And uh, the start and end values just correspond to the limit. Why are there spaces? Oh, I see. Okay. And uh, the amount. Okay, uh, this is basically uh, checking how many, uh, what do you want to say, how many replies are in the whole thing. So, this is where we're going to have to do the code down here. Okay. So, let's just go ahead and tab these over. We're going to change this, the amount check. We're going to select star from underscore forum replies where topic ID, TID, is relevant to the ID that we have. Okay? And next here, we just want to limit how many pages there are. So we just do a... Uh, when we come here, amount underscore check or count, it basically uh, tells us how many replies there are in that database. So pages equals the ceiling amount of the amount of replies divided by the limit per page. So if there's 25 replies, then there's going to be three pages, because 25 divided by 10 is 2.5, and since we're uh, sealing that, it's going to be 3. 2.5 rounded up is 3. And uh, now these here are just the previous and next pages. It'll just uh, tell us what to output when we're using these. So we're going to have to change this here. When we go here, we have this right there. Index, okay, act equals topic and ID equals 3. So we're going to have to change this to index.php act equals topic and ID equals ID and now we need and page equals the page number. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy that just so we don't have to retype it all. Just save some time. Alright. Uh, now, from here, we're going to echo out the pages. So, let's go ahead and do that. Let's uh, just copy that over. Okay. And uh, what we can do here, we can echo pages out like this just so it'll look a little neater, so we know what we're clicking. And you can do that on the bottom of it if you wished, but for now I'm just going to keep it on the top until we want to move out and go to the bottom. And now to actually print the replies, we're going to create a new query like this, right below this. So, we have to change the table name to forum replies. And we're ordering it by the ID, ascending order, and we're going to limit it from the end to the start. Okay? And uh, now we're going to head and uh, echo out these, uh, these replies. So I'm going to echo a break here, just so uh, the tables are, you know, separated from each other. So uh, now is what I'm going to do. I believe I'm going to end this table actually up here. Where did it go? Actually, I don't need to do that. I could just do this. Where this is, I'm going to echo a new row. TRTD align equals right. How many? Uh, call span equals two. Alright. And from here, I'm going to echo ending it like this. And I'm going to remove this break. Just to show you what it looks like now, if I went here, there's only one page, because there's only three replies on this. So, we have nothing to worry about right now. But we can do, we can, uh, let's just make this a little neater and add a class to it. Okay, copy and paste that. Did I save it? Yes, I did. And refresh. Now it has a border on it, just so it looks a little neater. And now let's go ahead and, uh, add their replies. So from this select underscore res 
query here, we're just going to do a while statement. And we'll do it uh, while row r equals mysql fetch sos select underscore res. Basically going to, really all we have to do is copy this. Put it in there. And change this all. Okay. And uh, we don't need this title here because actually we could use that, but um, we don't need title. That's what we don't need. Okay, and let's just go into our database, the table of it, and see how the replies are put out. So we have our topic ID, our user ID, our message, the date it was posted, and the timestamp it was posted on. So we hit, we're using the date here, so we're going to change it to row R. Then this here to row R. And uh, A, what is A equal here? A, did I make an A? I think A is the admin level. So that's a global. And uh, I guess we can go ahead and see how that looks now. There we go. There's four replies. One, two, three, four. Simple as that. Admin, 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 admin. Now let's go ahead and look at those replies. So we'll browse it. Live there for. And they're all corresponding to the UID. I mean, the topic ID. Ah, I, I made an error here. Where this is, we need to check where topic ID is relevant to the ID we're looking at. So we're going to refresh this, and it's showing be three. There we have it. Because there's one here that's on the sixth topic, not the third. And we're looking at the third right now. Simple as that. And uh, what we can do, just to show you how the pagination will work, if I change the limit to one, there should be three pages. One, two, three. Let's go ahead and hit next. I like monkeys, then we should have monkeys one, two, three as our next reply. And then our last reply, which was testing time here. Oops. I did make an error there. So uh, where is this? It's right here. So I'm just going to copy and paste this onto this. Oops. Topic ID equals id and page equals okay let's go back and test that make sure we have the right things we hit the number page one page two page one we go back to page three if we want to previous page previous page that is how simple this is so let's go back and ch change this back to ten and uh, what we can do we can add you know some random random posts if we want to we're up to five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ten pages. Still on one page, though. And eleven. Now there's two pages. What I've done here to uh, make this a little easier to understand, I've kept the topic original message on the top, so we know that each post is relevant to that. Okay? Does that make sense? I believe it makes sense. Alright. And... Okay. Uh, now we need to go ahead and change this post count here thing. So, uh, let's go ahead and open our functions.php. I believe that's what we're using. Let's so I use global. Am I, I'm, I think I'm using global here. Okay. Now I just use, need to use this post right here. So let's go to topic. And where we have post count equal, we'll do post row UID. That's just going to uh, uh, change the uh, topic message. So we got to go down here and change it here too. So post count equals post UID. That's actually row R and UID. And we should go ahead and refresh the page. Post count 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. And this is what we can do. There's only 12 in here. So there's only going to be 12 for me. Okay. Well, um, 
it's pretty much simple as that. I will, however, give you the uh, page test.php source code in case you uh, need to reference that in creating your own because I believe I went a little too fast while trying to explain this and just paste in the code from what I had before. Um, okay, well the high definition of this video will be up within a matter of uh, time, 30 to an hour uh, from this video. And uh, yeah, well uh, you can visit the high dev video at phpsquad.net. Um, it'll be under videos, high def, I'll just show you right now. We go to here, it'll be under tutorials, HD videos, form tutorials, and it'll be under part 12. Okay? And for the page test, it's going to be under snippets, PHP, and then I'm going to add a new one underneath that. So it'll be page test.php. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please comment, please rate it. It's all up to you. Um, if you really want to continue these tutorials, then please subscribe to me. Uh, I will continue doing my best to uh, continue updating this PHP forum tutorial. And, um, yeah, I will see you next time. Goodbye.